Hello, this is Chris from Paletech, and in this video we are going to learn how to add a highly customizable accord image accordion to our site using the Elementor page builder and the Happy Arons for Elementor plugin. To do that, we need to go over to the left where it says plugins. We are going to click on add new. And on the plugin search bar, we are going to type happy add-ons. And this is the one we are going to use. The happy add-ons for Elementor will add some extra widgets to Elementor among them the one we are going to use now. So we click on install now, then on activate, and we go to the top left name of the site and we are going to click on visit site. And on the top bar, we are going to click on edit with Elementor. There we go now. On the widget search bar, we are going to type image accordion. And this is the one we are going to use the image accordion of happy add ons. So we are going to click with the left mouse button, hold, drag, and we are going to release it on the open section. There we go. Now we have our accordion and we have the tab content, and now we have all the items that are created by default so we can add one more here or we could duplicate the ones we have already created so we are going to edit it a bit so we are going to choose an image we are going to insert it and now here we can change the label to anything we want the title to as well as you can see the label and the title has changed and now we can add an icon to the title we can select the position to the left or to the right we can change the description of the content we can enable a button or deactivate if we want change the label of the button here and we can add an URL or a type on the button we can also enable a pop-up and we can change the icon for the pop-up here if we want to anything we want on the icon library. In this case, we are going to leave the pop up icon and we can have it without any icon if we want. We are going to select this and we can enable link and paste the URL here or type the link and we can change for the uh, link as well. An icon on the library and we can select if this one is the one where it's going to be active when the image accordion is loaded we can also choose to enable a link on the accordion we can add paste our URL or type the link we can change the icon on the icon library and we can select it to be the active one when the accordion is low. If we deactivate it, it will simply be a file of clicking and activating it. We are going to leave this one on. Now we are going to move on a few of the style options it has on the content tab. Now we can use vertical or horizontal accordion. We can select the active behavior to be on click or on hover. Okay, there we go. And we can select the text alignment, the horizontal alignment, and the vertical alignment. And we can enable the content animation. Now we are going to move to the style tab. And now we have the common tab. We can select the height of the accordion. We can make it a little bit taller or shorter if we need we can add some margin some padding a border a radius to that border 
box shadow and background color. In this case, you will there you go and background color. Now we can change the image gutter so the space between the elements of the accordion will have a gap as you can see we can select the radius and the overlay color we can select a background for the normal we can select a background when it hovers we add some opacity and as you can see we will have a red tint and when it's active we can select a background as well with a hover too because it will be we will be able to see the content and we have a red overlay hover and a proper for the active one so we are going to go to the title and now we can add some margin to the title change the colors of the title and we can advance and change the color of the title and we can change the typography and the size as well we can make it a little bit more small so it's properly aligned with the icon we have added and we can add weight transform the text add some style decoration line height and leather spacing and now we can change the space between the title and the icon to our like and for the content it will be mostly the same the same options margin padding we can add some margin, some margin to the label, change the color of the label as well, and the typography in the same manner as we have with the title. And for the bottom adding typography, we can change this kind of options on all the resolutions. We could add a border to the bottom and give it some, some radius if we want it to be a little bit rounded and now we can change the color here of the border and when it hovers we can change as well we can change it as well the color of the font and the background type we can use a gradient, a color, and it will change. We can change even the color of the border on the hover as well. Now, for the actions, we can change the margin as well, the size of the icon, which is this one right here, the space between the two icons. We can add borders. The radius of the borders, as you can see, to make it a bit more rounded, and the color on hover for the pop icon, pop up icon, and the background as well. If we want, now we can add a little bit. There we go. And as you can see, we can change it for the link as well. And we can add the borders. So it changes color between the when we hover over them. And here on normal, we can change the color when the icon is on stationary like this it works exactly in the same line once we have made all the configurations we want to our image accordion we need to go to the lower left and click 
on the update button to save uh, those changes. So that's it. We have learned how to add a highly customizable image according to our site using the Elementor Page Builder and the Happy Add-ons for Elementor plugin in a quick and easy manner. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might have on the site. See you the next time on Paletech.